Hi, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I am Lou Gallagher. I am Corvette Ryan. Here's a scary but true stat. A Secure Life report says that one in 36 homes will be burglarized in the United States this year. To prevent your home from becoming one of them, it's important to know what burglars look for. Yours could be the perfect target without even knowing it. And so now we present to you Corvette Ronnie's Crime Beat. burglars look for before breaking into a home and what you can do to keep your home safe. Ronnie, it's all yours. Number one thing, an unlocked door. I mean, it just can't get any easier for them. Mm -hmm. uh, according to SafeWise, over one third of burglars enter the house through the front door. Article goes on to say that typically a burglar will knock on the door, see if anyone's home, and if they're not, first thing they'll do is try the front door. Mm -hmm. Simply Safe says that if someone is indeed home and comes to the door, burglar often just come up with a bogus story, acting as if they're selling a product or taking a survey. Then they can use this interaction to peek inside and learn more about the target. Surprisingly though, doors are often left open. If you live in a safe neighborhood, uh, they make great targets. Yep, yeah, by the way, and you're just popping out for an hour to run some errands, it's important to remember to always lock your doors. I've taken so many burglary reports, and we only had one uh, that I'm aware of, one hotel in the district, last year's district I worked in. People go to a hotel room, they get inside, they forget to lock the door. And people walk up and down the halls. There's video walking up and down the halls, trying every door, and if they find an open one, they're in. Now, it's a little bit harder now with the electronic locks because right, cards. yeah every time you close the door it's locked right but if you go right. to an older motel type thing not always the case okay so what burglars look for before breaking into a home number one is an unlocked door number two ronnie is a high fence yeah a high fence would seem to be pretty secure uh, but in reality, it only ensures the burglar a bit more privacy. Ah. Uh, once they've hopped the fence, they're into your yard. Uh, the one thing you should do, obviously, is some cut trees and bushes that could prevent protection for a burglar. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want to be seen from the street. Right. So you want a clear sight line from the street to your front door. Police also suggest making sure that your house number is visible so that if someone does try to break in, authorities can locate your house more easily. So an unlocked door, a high fence. Number three is mail piling up. And I know oh, newspapers used to be one of those things too. Same way. And you can always get a hold of your newspaper delivery person and the mail and have it stopped yes, while you're if, on vacation. If you're one of the two people out of uh, four or five million people in California that actually take the paper. Right. <laughs> yeah. Go on, Ron. Please. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so burglars will often look for signs that point to a target being away for extended time. If you have mail piling up, trash cans that haven't been brought back in, mm -hmm. uh, multiple newspapers on your welcome mat, and an overgrown lawn, you're basically advertising the neighborhood you're out of town. Ask a neighbor or a family member to collect your mail and move your trash can. Next up, window air conditioning units. For those of you that don't have central air, and I know a lot of people in the downtown Sacramento area uh, live in very old homes where there is no central heat and air, they have these window units. Yep, and also in the Bay Area where right. no mm -hmm. air conditioning is really not necessary often, right. but when it is, it's it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Well, instead, if you don't have a central air, those window air conditioners can be a lifesaver. Mm -hmm. However, unfortunately, they've always been also been known to act as an entrance point for burglars. A former burglar told Fashion Beans was the by far most common way to gain access to my friends. Kick in the AC and climb in. If nothing of value is found, AC could be taken in for scrap metal. Try putting bars around your window protecting where your air conditioner is. Wow, I hadn't really thought about that, but yeah. I guess it's true. Yeah, well, and you can, you can still secure, if you secure the air conditioner to the window and secure the window so that it can't be opened any further, mm -hmm. 
I mean, that's about as safe as you can make that situation. Okay, so we're compiling this list, which includes an unlocked door, a high fence, window air conditioning units. That brings us to something called obvious signs of wealth. And I know around the holidays, this is something. Oh, that... boy. Yeah, if you buy a new flat screen TV, don't put the box next to the trash all week, uh, waiting for trash to come around and pick it up. Keep it inside until the garbage truck pulls up. Burglars are looking for these signs of wealth. They don't want to waste their time going into a house with like a tube TV or something. <laughs> <laughs> They're looking for the latest and greatest. So don't advertise any of your new toys if you're wary of being burglarized. Additional precautionary measures include not keeping computers near windows and keeping jewelry well hidden in a master bedroom. I've got a buddy who works, uh, he's an engineer, electrical engineer, and they have an office, it was actually in Folsom, and right up next to the front window were two offices, and they had laptops sitting right in there. In the window. Yep, right in the window. A guy, they have very clear video of it. A guy smashes the window, grabs two laptops, and off he goes. And he's he's done, gone. Done in one minute. Yep. Yep. All right, and finally, that brings us to the right location. I want to hear more. Yeah, so the Center for Problem-Oriented Policing said burglars are looking for the highest reward with the lowest amount of risk, risk. aren't we all? Mm. Uh, if they choose a target home that's easy to get in and out of quickly, they will. They also target homes on the outskirts of neighborhoods where there are fewer eyes and therefore a smaller chance of getting caught. Other common targets are homes near an alley or a private street, anything where it wouldn't be likely for anyone to see them. If your neighborhood isn't adequately lit, this could be problematic. Yeah, and uh, the city or county isn't going to really help you out with that. No. In they, my neighborhood, we just have one light right on the corner, uh, and it's bright, but not enough to bright, you know, light up four or five houses. And we have a little issue in our neighborhood. We've... We've been real lucky in 33 years. We've only had a few burglaries in my neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Well, most recently, uh, and we back up to a green belt. And apparently, they the burglars came up through the green belt, tried the, so they're in their backyard, basically, tried their side garage door, found it open, and went in and helped themselves to a weed eater, uh, a backpack blower i needed the weed eater yeah i, I really did uh, <laughs> well and if they were going to use it to earn money that would be one thing but it's, right. they're all just going to end up on craigslist selling yeah. for pennies on a dollar okay so we've compiled the list here that things look for the burglars look for before breaking into a home an unlocked door a high fence mail piling up window air conditioning units obvious signs of wealth and the right location so now ronnie let's turn to what keeps them away uh, make it clear you have a big dog. I have a big dog. I have a big mean dog. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> Most burglars won't even attempt entry if they know there's a large dog in the home. If you're really worried about being burglarized, it might be worth it to get a big dog. The Miami Herald reports that about 1.5 million homes are burglarized in the U.S. every year and that the average length of time a burglar is in your home is about one minute. Mm -hmm. Uh, Miami police detective Freddie Burden says the best way to avoid being burglarized, get a dog. Uh, if you already have a dog, get a beware of dog sign could also help. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, even if you don't have a dog. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you know, I do something, I, I play with my dog in the front yard. To make uh, it clear. To make it very clear. Mm -hmm. um, a great example, and I may have said this before on a show, but... I was playing with my German Shepherd out in my front yard. We were playing catch with a ball. All of a sudden, she notices two guys working our street. Obviously, they're soliciting something. And she doesn't want to play ball anymore. She stands out at tension. She's right at the edge of my lawn. She sees him coming down. The guy who's closest says, um, is, uh, your, what did he say exactly? Oh, is your dog friendly? And I said, as long as you're on the street, she's friendly, but just don't come on my lawn. And I said, what are you selling? And he goes, we're selling burglar alarms, but I think you're good. Yeah. And I am I am good, thank you. Uh, you know, I always say, if you can get past the, the door bolt, right, 
if you can get past the pit bull, <laughs> I got something waiting for you. Yeah. And it isn't going to end well. No. So um, get a big dog. Get a pit bull. Uh, okay. So what keeps them away? A big dog. What keeps them away? A keep the TV on. Yeah. And I do this sometimes, not by choice, but by accident. <laughs> uh, just I'll leave. I'm going to be gone for you know, a little while and leave the TV on. Uh, it's another good way to make burglars think someone is home when no one is. Keep the TV or a radio on. Uh, burglars don't want to mess with a home that they think somebody might be in. If you keep the TV or a radio on, they probably won't want to take a chance and they'll just move on to the next house. I, I guarantee it. Yeah. That's how it works. If they hear a dog barking, that's the last thing they want. Yeah. If they hear what they perceive to be some sort of uh, commotion going on inside the house. They don't want any part of that. No. So make it clear you have a big dog. Keep the TV on. Use a safe. Yeah, this is, this it could be, there's, there's flip sides of this coin, but according to the ABS Crime Victim Survey, money and jewelry are the items that burglars steal most in break-ins. They typically go straight to the master bedroom and look for these items. A simple way to protect against this is to invest in a small safe keeping your closet or anywhere else in your home. Safe can do a lot to keep your jewelry and loose money safe. Comment, please. You sounded like you're not convinced about a safe. Yeah, so the problem is, unless that safe is hidden somewhere, they take the safe with them. Oh, if it's, it's a, small enough to pick up. It's small enough to pick up. I actually have a buddy who had a large safe. Uh, it's, it was as big as a door. Uh, he kept his guns in it and, mm -hmm. you know, a few other trinkets, but mainly guns. His house got broken into. They were on vacation. They loaded up laptops and iPads and, you know, Playstations and everything else in pillowcases. And then one of them apparently happened into the garage where they found the safe. They dropped everything else. They opened up his garage door. They pushed his safe into probably the bed of a truck or their minivan or whatever they drove. They left everything else and drove away with a safe. Mm, they had a sneaky oh, suspicion what was safe. in there. Yeah, a yeah. big safe. Wow. Well, uh, okay. Here's something that I do uh, in my front yard, and I don't have one in my backyard. Maybe I should. Um, motion sensor lights, Ron. Yeah, these are great. Um, motion sensor lights are perfect for scaring off burglars. Just when they're creeping up to your house to break in, a bright light shines in their face upon getting too close. Did someone hear them turn on a light, or is it just motion censored? They're not really sure, but they're definitely not going to wait around to find out. ABC News suggests using energy-efficient compact fluorescents. We also recommend installing something with adjustable sensitivity to avoid having the lights turn on with every little gust of wind. Yeah, um... I like these because... On a street like mine, if my neighbor's motion sen sensing light comes on, you're immediately drawn to it. So it picks up your attention even if you're not, if you're across the street, it picks up your attention and it directs your eyes over there, uh, which like they said, is the last thing burglars want. So our list here now has moved into what keeps burglars away. Number one, make it clear you have a big dog. Number two, keep the TV on. Number three, use a safe. Number four, motion sensor lights. That brings us to number five, fortify your windows. Yeah. Uh, Officer Harris Johnson of the Sugarland Police Department specializes in burglary prevention. One of his top tips is fortifying glass windows and doors with security laminate. They will be able to break the glass, but it won't give in. Uh, if we can push the bad guys away before they get in, that's the best approach. Hmm, I'm not sure I understand. So it's like, uh, think of it as window tinting, but it's uh, it's very strong. So you can still break the glass, but it's, it's very, very difficult to push through the glass. Um, uh, okay, I think I understand. But the other thing that we've done, and I used to teach these burglary prevention things when I was a pop officer, you can... They make little uh, locks for windows. If you have like a double hung uh, glass, you can lock it so that it can only open up 
you know, like three inches or something. A lot of people right. like to keep their windows open yeah. during the summer evenings, you know, because it cools down here nicely. But if they're open uh, at night, guy, these cat burglars are very stealthy. They come in, they remove the screen, and they're in your house. Uh, probably a large part of your electronic valuables are downstairs, laptops, iPads, and they're going to help themselves. They'll be in and out, and you'll never know it. In a minute. So put those locks on there. They also make locks for sliding doors, or you can cut a piece of dowel. Wooden uh, dowel, yeah. Wooden dowel, lay it down on the track. It can't be pushed open nope. without lifting that dowel out of the track. Same thing with windows. If you Again, if you have a double hung or casement window, um, you can secure it with wooden dowels. Mm -hmm. All right, and Ronnie, anything else that you would really recommend to folks? Yeah, the very last one and probably the fail safe is to get an alarm system. Uh, it's, it's the best way to protect your home from burglars. Simply Safe mentions that one of the tricks of the trade includes hanging a fake flyer on your door in order to see if there is a sign for your alarm system. Uh, if you do have an alarm, it's easier for burglars just to pick another target. If you're in the market for a new system, uh, contact Ed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he does that anymore. <laughs> All right, uh, so there you go. There's our list, and that wraps up Corvette Ronnie's Crime Beat. Well, thank you once again for watching our show today. Men are so smart. Uh, we covered some ways to keep burglars out and also... Uh, what burglars look for. We hope you found it very interesting from a guy who knows his stuff. Then do a few. I always turn to this guy when it comes to matters of the law. All right, uh, if you'd like any info, more information, you'll find our sources below in the description along with a list of our website, our social media, our blogs, and also our partners, Trico Welding Supplies, ANC Marine, and Capital Mobile Brake. Love them guys. If you have a moment, please click that little button that says subscribe. Doesn't take much, doesn't cost a dime, and we would really appreciate it. Yeah. I'm Lou Gallagher. I am Corbett Ronnie. We'll see you next time on Men Are So Smart, okay? Okay? Is it a date? Okay? 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 Okay. okay.